guys what's happening. So it's been a while since I made a Bronco video. But uh, the other day I noticed that my tires started getting, started leaking some air. And I've actually used these in the past. This is an old bag that I have. I got some oil in it, so I messed them up. So I had to buy some new, uh, new refill strips there, or like the plugs. Um, this is definitely not the preferred method of uh, fixing your tire. You want to put a patch um, on the inside of the tire. Um, but the problem is I have tire beads in these tires. And um, if I take the tire off, the tire beads are going to go everywhere. So, the, you know, like the, the leveling beads, the uh, light, well, they, they keep the tire out like a, in a balanced, balancing beads. Uh, here's the engine. It's a 351 Windsor. Pretty tricked out, out of rock, poly fuel injection. But let me show you the issue. So, so here is the nail right there. Um, yeah, this thing, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty slow leak. Um, like I said, this is not the preferred method. So I'm just going to rip that nail out. I mean, there's some air in here, so you got to be careful. Then you take the thing and you grind a hole through it. And uh, I've done this before in a couple of cars on a, on, a, on a road trip. We got a nail on a tire one time. I think that's the only nail I have in here. But yeah, this thing will leak out within a couple, like a week or so. It really depends on if I'm actually on the nail or not. So if I'm not on the nail directly, it's slow, the leak is a lot slower. Um, all right, yeah, because I got to rotate these tires too, so I want to make sure I got that figured out. Make sure we need more nails in these tires. But uh, all right, so let me show you what I have to do here. Well, there's a couple things here. Here's the buy the kit. The kit actually used to come with rubber cement. I noticed that all the new kits that were at the store didn't have the rubber cement, like the vulcanization rubber cement. Um, so you have a thing right here. You can see there's a little little tab right there. Well, that's so you can actually pull it out. Because if you didn't have that little opening right there, you wouldn't be able to pull the pull thing out without the plug in there. And this, you actually, once you get the nail out, you, you basically, you, you need to kind of open the hole up a little bit. Because it's, that thing won't fit in there if the hole's too small. Plus this kind of evens out the hole, makes it more round. I'm going to put the air out of the tire, but I want to hear it leak out once I get it in there. But I'm going to pull this out, maybe grab my, my uh, flat nose pliers and get that out of there. This might be, be cool to get this on video. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm not behind it so in case it blows out. I want to get this thing on camera for you guys so you can see it come out of there with the air, but because it's dangerous doing this. There we go. Alright, that's the nail. Alright, up and all the way through, I guess. Alright, well, that's it, man. I'm just gonna. I got all the way in. It was difficult. I mean, I kind of hammered in a little bit. Um, make sure you get all the way through. Because the holes all went through. All right, so this stuff feels like it's like a, almost like a yarn, like a rubberized yarn. So I know that it was pretty far in there, so but I can't go. I can only go not too far. And I just gotta push it in there like that. Be real careful though. Well, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this needs to get past inside the tire, so it kind of like mushrooms out. Because that's, that's actually what's gonna hold it in place. And once it gets inside the tire. It opens up and it kind of creates like a lock and mushrooms out. So that's what I gotta do. I gotta get past the thing, but it's, I get to keep on opening the hole. All right. All right, got it past. I said quarter turn, pull out. That was difficult. Don't expect this to be easy. Well, mainly this tire is really thick. I hope that works. I fill this thing back up. I mean, it's super gluey, you know, super rubbery, or sticky. Yeah, definitely not the right way of doing it. So if this doesn't work, I'm gonna just gonna have to sacrifice my uh, tire beads and get it fixed the right way. As right, so I just fill it back up with 35 psi. Don't hear any air leaking. 
probably should get rid of that nail to run that thing over again. Um, all right, we'll see how this thing works. If I make a fall video, then you know it didn't work, but uh, all right, so I'm gonna let this thing go. Let's see how it goes. All right, cool. Hopefully this video helps somebody. All right, awesome.